This video will demonstrate how the shoulder glenal humeral joint injection is performed. The joint injection can be done through the anterior or the posterior approach. This video will show you how the posterior approach is done. The patient can be placed in a prone position or the patient can sit in an upright position and with the physiatrist performing the injection standing behind the patient. The injection site must be adequately disinfected. The usage of sterile ultrasound gel and gloves must be worn to reduce the risk of contamination and infection. This video shows that the injection is done with the patient placed in a semi-prone position. The ipsilateral arm can be placed over a pillow to optimize comfort and to maintain the semi-prone position. The transducer is aligned in the long axis of the muscular tendinous junction of the infraspinatus muscle inferior to the scapular spine. It is important to move around the transducer to find the correct injection spot. The teres minor muscle is located inferior to the infraspinatus muscle and must not be injected. The correct injection site is that you must be able to view the genoid, labrum, and the humeral head simultaneously on the ultrasound image. The needle is then inserted and passes in an oblique lateral to medial direction towards the glenohumeral humeral joint. It is recommended that the bevel of the needle tip should be facing upwards first. After reaching the glenohumeral humeral joint, the needle tip is then rotated to have the bevel facing downwards. Now the injection of the sonolucent fluid can be started. The injected fluid has slightly descended the posterior joint capsule. In summary, the needle is positioned between the posterior glenoid labrum and the hypoechoic articular cartilage of the humeral head. This concludes the shoulder glenohumeral joint injection using the posterior approach. Thank you for watching.